Hey, beautiful people, you know who it is. Say my name. I'm just kidding, guys. But today we are going to be talking a little bit about Figma's new feature, Fig Jam. Now, this is a head-to-head -head competitor with the good old Miro.com. So guys, let's get right into it and let's break down what Fig Jam is all about and how it compares with Miro.com. Let's get right into it, guys. So once you've opened up Figma, head over to New in the top right corner and you should be able to see a Fig Jam file in beta. So simply click on that and that will open up a Fig Jam file. So once you've created your very first Fig Jam file, you'll see that the header is still quite consistent with the Figma interface. And over on the top right, you'll be able to sort of share your Fig Jam. You'll be able to report a bug. You can also add and show comments, which is quite standard within Figma. But they've also got a little nice little collaborate tool over here. If you hit that, you'll be able to add emojis. You can add stamps and then you can also do a cursor chat. So that is actually a really cool tool. And let me walk you guys through exactly how this works. So if you hit E on your keyboard, first off, you can access any of the stars. So you can actually go thumbs up. You can actually just oops, let's zoom right in so you can see this a little bit better. Let's zoom into 100%. Here we go. So you can add any, any uh, interfaces over here. This interface actually reminds me of Procreate on the iPad. So when I'm actually doing a bit of like sketching on the iPad, I use Procreate and it's a very similar interface. Now, if you hit E again, then you actually get the emojis as well, which is quite nice and it's interactive. So it doesn't stick on the, paper, on the page, it actually just interacts with other people in the same file. Now, the cursor chat, what this does is that when you type, depending where you've got your mouse, sometimes you realize that in a, in a design file, you might go, hey, can you change this to red, Bob, right? And, you, and you're and you trying to communicate with them on the actual uh, canvas. So what we can do now is actually use the canvas, uh, the cursor chat and go, hey, Bob, can you change this to red? And Bob on the other hand, on the other end will actually be able to see this. And if you hit enter, you type in another word that will disappear. And actually, I don't know why I type word just then and that will also disappear. So it's an actual chat experience within the cursor, which is insane. I love that, it's so cool. Now, at the bottom, you've got a bit of a toolbar. So obviously you've got your cursor, your selector, and then you've also got the moving tool. Then you've also got a pen, a marker over here. So you can either choose a, a little a pencil or like a, a sharp tip, sharp tip. I don't know what the hell a sharp tip is, but I don't know what the word is for it. Then you've got a blunt tip pen, um, so you can do blunt stuff over here. Hey, that's a really cool, uh, I wish that was my portfolio, you know? So if I did, this was dollar amount and this was time, this is what my portfolio actually looks like. I'm kidding guys, that's what my uh, crypto portfolio looks like. Then you can also change your color, you can also add shapes. So this would be extremely useful for if you were doing like user flows with like a, with someone in Figma, you can do some live collaborations. You can say, okay, the home page will be here. Then what we're gonna do is hit this plus icon and this will move on to another page, which is the about page. And you can create very quick uh, user flows, which is really useful as well because in Figma currently, it doesn't have the connectors, which is quite time consuming and it becomes quite clunky in trying to create user flows this would actually be perfect. Now, I actually use a tool called whimsical.com right now for user flows, but now that I've seen that Fig Jam can actually replicate exactly what they've done, I will potentially actually think about, you know what, canceling my subscription because this saves and does everything that they do as well. So this is extremely powerful and it's great that it's all within the Figma ecosystem. Then on the right hand side, we've actually got notes. So you can create some simple notes and this is such a popular tool for any sort of live collaboration uh, workflow. And this is great. You can also hide, the great thing about this is you can actually hide the author as well. So if you wanna hide the author name, you can. You can also leave any sort of, uh, whoops, leave any sort of text inside as well. So that's great. Then obviously on the right hand side, you've got the text tool. So you can type any text that you want, uh, create any connections between things as well with the a connector and by the way if you didn't realize I think you did when I hit on the plus you can actually add additional cards um, without having to create the custom connection over here then you also have the Figma Fig Jam library so these are just like emo emoticons that you can put on which is like a libraries and I imagine you'll be able to add or actually download yeah as you can see here download more um, libraries that you can add then you have obviously the stamp tool which is uh, 
that you can find over here, but you can just use E on your keyboard as well. Now, if you thought about adding an image, you can also add an image with this icon over here and you'll be able to place the image on the canvas. So in a nutshell, would I use Fig Jam? I think I definitely will be using Fig Jam. Would I replace Fig Jam with Miro.com? So if you guys haven't heard about Miro.com, Miro.com is a live collaboration tool which has a lot of extensive libraries of templates that you can use in live collaboration workflows. So as you can see over here, they have ideation and brainstorming, research and design, agile work, uh, workflows, strategy and planning. You can see that they've already created all these templates for you. So you can just jump in and get kickstarted right away. Now with Figma, with Fig Jam, they don't have that right now. So you'd have to recreate everything from scratch. Now potentially that is what I would do, but I reckon I would still keep with Miro.com if I need to run an extensive uh, workshop. But when Fig Jam goes beyond beta and they actually have a library of all the templates, I reckon you can keep it all in-house, guys. So before we wrap up, I just want to quickly show you a piece of artwork that I did make within Fig Jam, which is just below here. Oh, you can see it right here, it's quite nice. And um, it's just a gentle reminder for you guys all too. If you enjoyed this video and it was useful for you in some sort, just make sure to gently smash that like button, guys. All right, guys, hopefully you guys found this video extremely useful or, or informative in some way. And I hopefully will see you in another video very, very soon. Oh,